Israel is suddenly an oil-rich, wealthy nation with its discoveries of massive oil and gas fields about 100 miles off its northern coast in the Mediterranean Sea. Starting in 2009, then in 2010, Israel's mammoth-sized oil and gas discoveries have now started flowing, as news headlines report in March 2013. Full online production is forecasted to begin in 2016. These major oil and gas reserves now spotlight Israel as one of the world's near-future oil and gas export leaders. In fact, top experts say the reserves are able to sustain Israel itself for the next 100 years or more, and as mentioned, are also enough to help supply other nations too. On a larger scope, and without question, the timing of these discoveries is by the divine hand of God, and is precisely on time with all other end-time prophecies already shaped up today. The first way is that Israel now being suddenly a highly wealthy nation, literally rich, then this is a 100% match with the end time scenario shown in Ezekiel chapter 38 verses 12 and 13. The verses identify end time Israel as having such great wealth with gold and cattle and goods that this will be Russia's exact motive for attacking Israel in the coming Ezekiel 38 and 39 one day war on Israel's own mountains. Today, Israel's sudden wealth from oil and gas reserves not only make Ezekiel's prophecy spring-loaded, but also will play into China and the kings of the east's motive for sending their military into Israel in the Battle of Armageddon at the end of the coming seven-year tribulation. However, in both coming military conflicts, Israel's enemies will be immediately decimated and with Israel's oil-rich wealth remaining fully intact. But the second way Israel's massive oil and gas findings are by God's divine hand and fit into today's end times is on an even larger scope than what I've just mentioned. I say this namely because of this generation's nearness to the divine return of Christ at the end of the nearing seven-year tribulation. More specifically, at Christ's return and after setting up his kingdom based in Jerusalem for the next 1,000 years, then the essential needs of oil and gas will still be needed at the onset of the millennium for Israel and other nations in restarting the world's industry and commerce and transportation and everyday living just like today. And now with Israel's new discoveries and ownership of massive oil and gas reserves, this means that Israel is now divinely positioned to be completely self-sustaining with oil and gas for at least the first 100 years or more of the coming foretold thousand year period. But a third and even greater way in which God's hand is in the timing of Israel's sudden wealth is that since Jerusalem is the divinely chosen capital city during the coming thousand year reign of Christ, then it's crystal clear that God has virtually now bathed the Holy Land and Jerusalem, its king's headquarters, with overflowing wealth in advance and right on time for the glorious return of the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords.